Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. I'm going to do another feather mold today. I am going to do this one with black alumilite opaque dye, vineyard alcohol ink from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to use these bits of silver leaf that I got on Amazon. So I'm gonna put two cups broken down for the black and the purple. And I'm going to mix the silver right in the big cup. But I do have a small cup that I'm going to put the silver in first to try and um, break it down a bit. Sometimes you get, let me move these out of the way a second so I don't spill in there. You get very big chunks sometimes. I mean, this is obviously too big to mix. It'll break down some as I stir it. But I want to chunk it up a little bit first. So I'm just going to try and break it up some. Because I do want smaller, smaller pieces in the resin. And that will break up once I start mixing it in. So I'm going to set that to the side for a minute, and that's all I'm going to use. These containers I've had for well over a year now, they are very large. Uh, this came in a three-pack from Amazon. There is copper and gold also. I will get the link in the description for that. So for the black, and I think I want less black. So I'm going to put some of this into this cup. Because the black is going to be more solid, it's going to take over more. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the dye in. And I do have a little bit of a hole in the side of the container. So... It does get a little bit messy. I'm just going to mix that up. And set it to the side. And I'll bring this one in. And this I'm going to use the purple. Alcohol ink. And I'm going to mix that. This purple tends to stay pretty purple compared to some of the other alcohol ink purples out there. And the alcohol in the ink does remove most of the bubbles, so that's a plus to using inks like that. And now I'm going to start to mix in some of this leafing. And it will chunk up as I mix it. It'll break itself down somewhat. So I'm going to kind of stir it against the side of the cup a bit. For this mold, I mixed up four ounces of resin. It's slightly more than I need, but it's just easiest to hit that mark. And I'm going to look through it and make sure there's no giant chunks. But you can see it broke down pretty far. That's a bigger chunk, so I'm going to scrape that on the side and try and break it up a little bit. Now... Some of the leaf might hold bubbles, so this piece may come out because of where it's going to end up. I won't be able to access them to pop any bubbles. Um, 
So the clear part of this may have more bubbles than I would like in the end, but I am going to start by pouring this first and letting it work down in. And it's got to get under this lip of the mold a bit, so it might take a second. Like, that's a pretty big chunk. And that's pretty well in there, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more. And I do hope this gets down to the end here. So I'm going to try and open that up just a little bit. I may even put my stick down in there to lift it a little. I can see it's trying to get there. So I'm going to put some more on that end. And I can see it through the side of the mold. It's working its way down there, so I'm okay with that. Just going to pick this up a second. I'm just going to kind of force some of this in there. And I can see it filling back in, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and run a line of the purple. Over the top. Go ahead and grab that stick again. And I'm just going to kind of work around, pushing a little bit of the purple in. I don't want it to go all the way, but I do want it to mix with the silver a little bit. And hopefully this will also release any bubbles that may be stuck because I do see bubbles rising around the edge, which I expected because of the leaf. Kind of like glitter will trap air, so will the silver leaf, gold leaf, whatever whatever color you're using. Okay, I'm just gonna set that down a second. A little bit more purple. And I'm only going to use a little bit of this black. There was a little bit extra mixed, so that extra is basically what's in the black cup. And I'm just going to go ahead and swirl that black into the bottom.
You don't want to put any kind of heat on a mold like this. Um, just kind of trying to make sure it's settling. Filling all the edges. So this does have a flat base. I do want to make sure it is filled to the base, perhaps doming a tiny bit. And that looks pretty good, so I'm going to call that good. Now, because you don't want to put any heat to this and you do want the bubbles gone, this is just a mini mister from Ranger filled with regular 91% alcohol. And I'm just going to turn it the right way and spritz the bottom. And I can see the bubbles releasing. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they are popping. So I will come back in, in probably another five minutes and give it another mist because I do anticipate more bubbles rising as they escape from underneath the silver leaf. But other than that, I'm not going to touch this till tomorrow and I will come back and unmold it. Just jumping in real quick to unmold this one. Look at that. is super pretty. I am pretty pleased with that and it is cured pretty hard. So it does have a little bit of bubbling on the back side around the gold leaf but nothing that makes it terrible. So feather number two out of the mold. <laughs> 